it's been, it's been a quick turnover, but when you look back on that Rangers game, you take positives from it, but into a big game on Tuesday night, tomorrow night. Yeah, definitely. Of course, we, we take a lot of positives from it. You know, bar a, a 15 minute spell in the second half, I thought we were very good. You know, first half, we, we totally dominated the game. We should have won, should have been the game, should have been out of sight. Um, Listen, then a controversial decision swings a little bit in their favour. We we did we didn't lose the game because of that we were still losing two or winning two one at that stage, um, but we we just showed maybe a slight little bit of naivety. Um, we stopped doing things that we were doing really well in the first half, but we showed great character as I said after the game to come back, you know with a. What they have at their disposal to, to bring on the pitch and, and the squad that they put out, you know, I thought our boys competed so well and, and showed really, really good performances all over the pitch. So we need to take that again Tuesday night, another hard game, and, and you know Aberdeen are van for second place now, so they'll they'll be right up for the game as well. So it's a tough challenge for us. How much do you use this game tomorrow night as a as a marker for the semi final? Um, I, I think listen, every game will be be on an individual merit, I would imagine, you know. But what I do know is you have two managers trying to win the game. You know, Derek obviously got a big incentive to to get second place. They've had a fantastic season. Um, you know, we're we just have to keep winning our games. We've got two games left before the split, and we have to try and win both of them. And we'll we'll both set out to do that. Psychologically, though, if I win over Aberdeen, it would give momentum and confidence going into Hamden. Yeah, I think our boys have got belief anyway that uh, you know, he especially here we can we can beat anybody. You know, and if you do take that win, yeah, I suppose it would be a bonus to take into it. You know, but we'll judge this game on its merits, and you know, it's still an outside chance of top six for us. So we have to make sure that we're we're not left on if only, and we've done this. We have to make sure we just go and win that game, and then we'll we'll treat the semi final on its own merits. Do you look back at previous victories you've had against Aberdeen this season, trying to take bits from those games? Or? Yeah, the cup game, you know, we, we played really well. Um, I think one of our best performances this season was away at Aberdeen as well, where we won the game, you know, beat them by two goals. So it was um, two very good performances. But it, we, you know, they've had a good result on Saturday. We know they've got some very good individuals that can, can win football matches. So we have to be, if we're not on our metal and we're not 100%, which we showed if you're, you drop your standards for that 15, 20 minutes, when you play these teams like your Celtics, your Aberdeen, your Rangers and your Hibs, you, you get punished. We've obviously had two very difficult games back to back here, but... You know, you've, you've shown you can compete against the best teams in the in the league. Uh, you, you obviously need to do that again tomorrow. tomorrow. Yeah, we we have to. This is as tough a game as as any of the previous two. You know, Aberdeen are not up there for for no reason. You know, they've, as I say, they've they've got some very good individuals. They're organised. They've been consistent over the last two or three years. So, we we worry about our game. We worry about how we impose our style on other people. Um, and we've done that very well the last two games. And we have to do that for 90 minutes if we want to get a result against Aberdeen. Obviously, Hearts got a crucial point yesterday, but if you, is that the message to the players that don't give up on top six yet? You never know what can happen. Yeah, football's a, a strange game, you know, in situations. You can only take care of your bit. And if we take care of getting three points um, tomorrow night and, and again on Saturday, then who knows? Yeah, of course, it's, it's an outside chance. You know, and, and it's in Hearts' hands, really. But we have to do our bit. And, and more to the point, we have to keep continuing the run we're on. We have to build on momentum. Um, we know where we went wrong. We know that the period in November and December has cost us um, and that our squad isn't possibly quite strong enough. And we have to look at that. We have to make sure players step up to that, step up the mark, or, or we sign other players that can do. Any team news is Shifshi close to coming back? Um, Nadir's he's had a, a test on it today, so um, we'll know after training today. Um, but he, he'll still be a doubt for the game. Um, and Charles Dunn will be a very late fitness test.